I'm Roger Bailey and right next to me here is a large practical family estate car made by Audi. Yet look a little bit closer and we see signs that this family car is laced with no less than supercar performance. Suggesting what we have here is the latest in performance car bloodlines. First initiated by Audi's and Porsche's motor racing collaborations. So are we about to go on a white knuckle ride of massive performance? Or will we indulge ourselves in high-tech luxury and sophistication? Well, I think you should come along with me to figure this one out. A jack of all trades expects to hear disparaging comments such as, well, you must therefore be a master of none, which is a tad harsh and improper if you are properly good at all of the things that you do. More considerate would be to call a multitasker a good all-rounder or, in the case of Audi's latest RS6 Vorsprung, an astonishingly capable all-round talent. Clearly, it takes genuine talent to be a capable family transporter while also dispensing this kind of showmanship. At the RS6's heart is a rabid 4-litre bi-turbo V8 align performances like this because it has had an outrageous 600 brake horsepower and a stonking 590 pound-feet of torque delivering through a super quick 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox, intelligent all-wheel drive and kept on the tarmac by applied science suspension and transmission witchcraft, more of which we'll discuss in a moment. On offer from the big Audi's talent set are 0 to 60 launch control antics dispatching the benchmark sprint in just 3.4 seconds, 0 to 120 miles per hour in under 12 seconds, and onto an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. There being, of course, a potential of nearly 200 miles per hour, should an owner wish to tinker in a small amount of engine remapping from one of the numerous vendors of such things. For Audi to achieve this level of performance in a two ton family car, they had clever engineers add in some very crafty tech, such as variable steering, an RS tuned rear differential to generate serious levels of turning grip, the latest Quattro all wheel drive system to manage mid corner grip while finishing off with rear wheel steering to add extra stability on corner exit. Speaking from my own experiences, should you pitch it clumsily at speed into a corner, understeer will take over. But if you're then brave enough to just hit the gas, the new sports differential rear steering and that Quattro system cancel out that wayward push and the reward you get is a catapult ride out of that corner and off into the blue yonder. Up to 85% of the grunt can now be sent to the rear end, helping you around that unexpectedly tightening corner. So it seems this car is designed not only to make an average driver look better, it's also here to satisfy the world's most demanding drivers and also to satisfy those owners wanting to, I don't know, out drag a Lamborghini, yet go and tow a caravan, perhaps then to post a blistering track day time and then move on to some safe commuting of one's children and in-laws. And the list goes on. This must have been one heck of a challenging brief for the designers and quite a set of conflicts to resolve. By comparison, making the Audi R8 must have been a bit of a doddle, really. I expect keeping appearances in check took some balance too. However, we are given aggressively blistered bodywork, which is 80 millimeters wider than a standard A6. We have a brutish overall appearance, while our car also wears plenty of sporty accessories, finishing off with these thunderous tailpipes. I'm told that only the front doors, the roof and the tailgate are shared with a regular A6 Avant. The cabin is expected Audi quality, with accommodation to make you feel lush and cosseted. Thereupon, your attention is drawn to the vivid and gorgeous screens, that have seamlessly endless menus and configuration possibilities. This is a slick and effective system to use, as is Audi's class-leading virtual digital cockpit display in the binnacles, as well as a very useful head-up display. Out and about, we find tyre roar is kept down to a minimum, soundproofing is effective, and the integration of double glazing cocooned you from the outside world. While this car does feel big, our routine supermarket mission remains an easily achievable process, 
We've got a substantial 565 litres of load space, which with the seats up, and 1680 litres of seats down. And Audi has worked on the loading width, adding an extra 14 millimetres with this latest model, making piling in one's essential beers and biscuits a cinch. So, is there anything amiss with Audi's latest RS6, you might ask? Well, it's not one of those sideways driving kind of cars like some of its rivals, nor does its exhaust shout or bark as loudly as others I can think of. And you certainly feel its 2,000 plus kilo mass when pressing on hard. Yet, yeah, that said, you only have to refocus your gaze on all its all-round talents and its super safe traction to be reassured of your purchasing choice. So we've already seen how this car could be considered by many to be a supercar. We've already been out and done the shopping, but we need to find out, is this a family car? Well, to do that, we need a family. So hold on tight and remember to scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> Our car's owner, Roy and Emma, not only very kindly loaned their new Audi RS6 for our review, they also generously threw in their family purely for our entertainment purposes only, of course. Thanks again for this, guys. And thanks too to Audi for quite rightly being bold enough to put together a car of this kind right now in this changing automotive world we presently find ourselves in. There's something enticing about having a performance estate car rather than the usual SUV, and this Audi proves the point. Yet, in the socially responsible climate of 2021, should we be buying 600 brake horsepower fire-breathing family cars? Probably not, but what an antidote to the world of political correctness we have here. A very fast, very drivable, comfortable, practical estate car that's just the right side of attention seeking. I found no single aspect of the RS6 that stands out, yet every part has been fine-tuned, creating a car that's truly greater than the sum of its parts. So, should you swap out of your SUV and into an estate car? Well, if it's an Audi RS6, definitely. So thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please feel free to click the like button as in doing so, it will tell YouTube to recommend it to more people and comments are always welcomed. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. And if you hit this little notification bell, I'll send you another video. I think it's time for me to sober up Cause I don't know what I should do with all these feelings Don't wanna be needy Too in love Maybe I am just too in love Baby, all I know is I can't make you stay But don't just walk away don't just walk away Help me I wanna be more than just a friend I'm looking for closure so baby, pull me closer, closer. Help me. I don't wanna be just a one night stand. I'm looking for closure. So baby, pull me closer, closer.